I'm Steve Ward, one of the most successful matchmakers in the country. And after four seasons of tough love, nothing surprises me. But this season... So why are you single? Oh, man, because I'm a douchebag. <laughs> We're mixing things up. This Tough Love Boot Camp is co-ed in the City of Angels. Do well, I look like your mom? These single men, your man-child. And that's a bad thing. Yes, that's it's a, a bad, bad thing. thing. Are just as clueless as these single women. I have a curse put on my family. OK. Mm -hmm. It's a Tough Love Boot Camp like no other. <laughs> Everyone, get down here on the double. I'll give them insights into the male and female perspective. How important is size to a woman? Whoa, hello. I will never trust Steve 100% again, ever. Do you have lipstick on your teeth? Is this... Oh, look at that. I'm learning all kinds of techniques. And with the help of my sister, Monica, you look like a predator, preying on young girls that were wasted. I would never date a guy like that, ever. I'll reveal their flaws. I had an infection a while back. Infections of any kind don't need to be discussed on a date. And give them the cold, hard truth. I really wish that there was a mirror I could put in front of you to make you look like what you really look like with your little attitude. It's ugly. It really makes you hideous to people, <laughs> whether they like it or not. You have a good relationship with your father? He passed away, but I had a great relationship with him. Do you think he'd be proud of the way you treat women? And when it's co-ed? Did you just fart yes, in the jacuzzi? Did. They'll discover. I found a vibrating device. Get out of here. Whoa. I used that oh. to scrub my face. Come on, guys. <laughs> How to care for each other. I don't know what it's like to to be a woman to a man. You were married for quite some time, so Absolutely. you know how to be a woman to a man. In more ways than one. If you guys like each other, don't let me stand in the way. You want to make love, have fun. Just don't make war. I trust you as a person. Could yeah. I trust you in a relationship? Probably not. Own the fact that you were a <laughs> It won't be easy. Shut the out. Shut the out. Yeah, my reputation's Drop the act. This macho bull doesn't impress anybody. I'm the nicest person in this house. Don't put your hand in my you face. You walked up in this mother hand. Get the out of here. Go over there and sit down. This has been the most difficult boot camp for me that I've ever experienced. But if they face their demons... He was like, boom. He had just collapsed of cardiac arrest. And I felt like, what did I do? And follow my lead. Well, my dad met my mom. She had three kids. And he's been everything I ever wanted and more. I know exactly where you're coming from. Continue to look for the good in men. Don't look for their flaws. Embrace their strength and find someone who's as strong as your dad. They'll find the secret. Because of you and your tough love, I've grown even stronger. I am forever grateful to you. That's very sweet. So I just want to hear it. One full, complete thought. No more Pazicondo. I'm done dancing. Done dancing? Done featuring? I'm done. To what they've been missing. I like what I see so far. Mm. This has been great. Oh, you're great. She's sweet on you, man. Yes, you did a great job, Steve. There, I said it. <laughs> I'm no longer lonely, thanks to Steve. <laughs> you are the man! I was hoping that maybe you'd want to be my girlfriend. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm very serious. I know it's crazy, but I mean, we're in love. Awesome. And love will be right around the corner. Will you marry me? Tough Love Co-Ed, Wednesday, August 28th at 10, only on VH1. Hey, Stu, you got eyelashes on? None your business.